Right. Or it may wind up taking you back to the same place, right? Both can be right in an odd way because Anthony could say, well, I wasn't targeting him. I was just talking about leakers in general, but he may be talking about Ryan. And why would that be, Ryan Lizza? Because isn't the truth of the situation that there is actually bad blood here uh, and that Anthony Scaramucci isn't uh, necessarily the aggressor here? It has been Reince Priebus with Scaramucci is involved. There is a lot of reporting that he has been going after him. He didn't want him to have a job. He's not happy about this job. Can you confirm that? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, and, and Scaramucci uh, has not been, you know, shy in telling people privately that over the last, uh, you know, month since he was offered the job of public liaison and then moved mm -hmm. to sell his, uh, you know, divest of all his assets that created a conflict of interest, mm -hmm. and then he wasn't actually brought into the White House for that job. Yeah, so Ryan, he, sort of, he was sort of left in limbo. Ryan, so sorry um, to interrupt you right now. If you would stand yeah. by for a second, that would be great because we actually yep. have Anthony Scaramucci on the phone. Right. So Director Anthony Scaramucci joins us this morning. Anthony Scaramucci, can you hear us? Is Ryan still there? Yeah, so when I was speaking to you last night, Ryan, I said it was unpatriotic that you weren't telling me who the leakers were. Um, I was on a plane landing in New York. I have to go visit my mom. And so you may have caught it the wrong way. I, I, I was teasing you, and it was sarcastic. It was uh, a one Italian to another. It wasn't me trying to get you to say, if, if you could give me some sense for where they are, because I have a responsibility to the President of the United States. Anthony? When you said you, when you, said you didn't, I totally respect your journalism and your integrity. Anthony, Chris, I don't know. I, if, uh, yes, hold on, sir. Anthony. I just want to make sure. Uh, I don't yes. know if Ryan could hear you. Um, okay. okay. Uh, okay. But just in case, uh, it, it did go out over the air, so he heard what you meant when you were talking to him about being unpatriotic. Let's just uh, yeah. reset us at zero here. What's yeah, going I, on I in wanna, your perspective? I want to reset at zero, but I also want you to know that I just spent about 15 minutes on the phone talking with the President of the United States, who has given me his uh, full support and his full blessing. Uh, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read you something, Chris, and you bear with me. And the President also told me, if you're nice to me in this segment, he'll let me come back on the show. Is that cool? So why don't you let me talk for a little bit, and then you can ask me questions. But this is super, super important to the country. Now, whether you agree with the president or you disagree with the president, you have to love the institution of the presidency. You have to love the office, and you have to love our country. And what is going on right now, I've done a major amount of work over the last five days. I've interviewed most of the assistants to the president. I've interviewed most of the people in the communications team in the White House, and what the president and I would like to tell everybody, we have a very, very good idea of who the leakers are, who the senior leakers are in the White House. We'll get to that in a second. But what I also want to say is that we are working together, the president and myself and other members of his team in law enforcement, to undercut, undercut and undercover or, or out, if you will, the leakers in the entire country. Uh, as the president would say in his own words, the White House leakers are small potatoes. I'll, I'll talk to you about a few leaks that happened last night that I find reprehensible, but the White House leaks are small potatoes relative to things that are going on with leaking things about Syria or North Korea or leaking things about Iraq. Uh, those are the types of leaks that are so treasonous that 150 years ago people would have actually been hung for those types of leaks. So the president brought me in. He knows I'm his friend first, Chris. You're from New York. I'm from New York. The president is from New York. We had dinner last night. I sat next to the first lady. I love the president. I've said that. I know the press wants to ridicule me for saying it six times on the podium. But we started out as friends. I am not a politician. I'm an American businessman, an entrepreneur that have built two businesses, and I try to play it straight with people. The president is trying to play it straight with people, which is why he has 140 or 125 social media followers, because they want to hear it straight from the president. And I said to the president this morning, I can't afford to be a sycophant to you, sir. I have to talk to you straight as a friend so I can help you with this problem. And so what I want to say to you is I understand the law. I know that there was a public disclosure mechanism in my financial forms. What I'm upset about is the process and the junk pool, the dirty pool, Chris, in terms of the way this stuff is being done. And the leaking won't stop. I can't have a couple of friends up from Fox and Friends uh, and Sean Hannity, who's one of my closest friends, to dinner with the president and, and, his, and his first lady without it being leaked in seven minutes. It's absolutely, completely, and totally reprehensible. And the, as you know from the Italian expression, 
The fish stinks from the head down. But I can tell you two fish that don't stink, okay? And that's me and the president. I don't like the activity that's going on in the White House. I don't like what they're doing to my friend. I don't like what they're doing to the president of the United States or their fellow colleagues in the West Wing. Now, if you want to talk about the chief of staff, we have had odds. We have had differences. When I said we were brothers from the, uh, from the podium, that's because we're rough on each other. Some brothers are like Cain and Abel. Other brothers can fight with each other and, and get along. I don't know if this is repairable or not. That will be up to the president. But he's the chief of staff. He's responsible for understanding and uncovering and helping me do that inside the White House, which is why I put that tweet out last night. When the journalists who actually know who the leakers are, like Ryan Lizard, they know the leakers. Jonathan Spain at Axio, these guys know who the leakers are. I respect them for not telling me because I understand and respect journalistic integrity. However, when I put out a tweet and I put Reince's name in the tweet, they're all making the assumption that it's him because journalists know who the leakers are. So if Reince wants to explain that he's not a leaker, let him do that. But let me tell you something about myself. I am a straight shooter, and I'll go right, I'll go right to the heart of the matter. Okay, so I'm done talking. You can ask me questions. But be nice on this segment, Chris, because this is a very serious matter of interest to all of America. Well, Anthony, look, I know when you say be nice, you're in part joking, because you know the job is to be fair. So let's be fair in this situation I, I, and try I, and get a sense again, of what's the going on. The Ryan Lizza, unpatriotic, it's that nuance, Chris. Absolutely. Sometimes it's hard to pick it up. Honestly. Ryan heard it. Be, he accepts be what you fair. said. Be fair, Chris. That, and ask, and the truth of the matter is I'm used to all different types of questions. I'm used to meanness right. from Georgia. It doesn't matter to me. I'm here to play it straight for the American people and to protect my friend who's the president of the United States. And so un go ahead. understood. And Allison and I have felt the bite of personal comments from power as well, but we still do the job and we do it the right way because that's go what ahead. matters more. So let's do that right now instead of talking about that. Um, these tweets seem to indicate a problem uh, that didn't start today. And I'm not talking about the leaking. It is well known, Anthony Scaramucci, that Reince Priebus was against you getting a job in the administration. You've talked about it privately yeah. with reporters. Uh, he has denied it, but there are tons of reports that that denial is hollow. And when you named him in the tweet, it seems to call that. Where is your head on that situation? What do you believe the reality to be? Because it seems much more like Cain and Abel I, I, than it does here, brothers I, who can get along. Here's what I believe. After running two reasonably successful companies, and one which the entire world knows I'm about to sell for $180 million, here's what I know. When you're running a successful company or an organization, uh, you can take this human equation to the bank. Under confidence plus insecurity always equals paranoia and backstabbing. And so what you have to do as a manager is you have to go through the process and the system and figure out where the backstabbing is coming from. That will lead you to the people that are insecure or underconfident. And if you can't bolster them and make them better, then you have to remove them from the process because then it becomes addition by subtraction. That, that's what I know. Understood. So, 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 so when you, I don't want to talk about anybody specifically – because, what I, because we're on a live television wire, uh, but the people know. The journalists know. You know, the young kids in the comms team are taking a lot of heat from me right now. They know, Chris. The people know. You know who knows? The president of the United States. The president of the United States, again, whether you guys like the guy or you dislike the guy, he's the smartest person that I've ever worked for. Okay, so let Vanity Fair write about that. I honestly don't care. He has intuition, he has judgment, and he has a temperament in a way that I, I have never seen. Last night we were having dinner. Uh, I told his wife, I looked over to the first lady, and I said, I forgot how much fun I used to have when I hung out with him on the campaign trail. Okay? He's a very interesting and very unique guy. There are people inside the administration that think it is their job to save America from this president. Okay? That is not their job. Their job is to inject this president into America and so that he can explain his views properly and his policies so that we can transform America and drain the swamp and make the system fairer for the middle and lower income people. Well, look, I understand that, their, Anthony. It's I understand. not their job from the establishment through calcification to sit there and try to withhold the president. Okay. And rein him in 
or, or do things to him okay. that slow down his agenda. All right, so That's let's, not their job. Let's talk about what we know a little bit. One is, yes, the president should be focused on making the lives of Americans better. It's what he promised. It's what the country needs. Understood. Two, leaks happen, uh, especially in political situations. There are different types of leaks. Some are about national security. They can be dangerous. Uh, they have to be policed. Understood. Most are not that. Most are people that. surrounding uh, a person in power who want to explain policy, who want to feed journalism, mm -hmm. who have uh, a, ver a lot of positive and benevolent um, intentions when they do so. Three, this White House leaks more than any I have ever been in contact well, with. And I think that they're... Ridiculous. And I, but I, but I, I don't know if I'd use the word ridiculous because I okay, think let me put it this that way. a lot how, of the how's leaks... This? How's this, of course, unprofessional? You became a, a verbal well, pre proofreader overnight. Well, how's, 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 how's unprofessional? Listen, let I'm me, careful, me, I'm careful about my words because they matter. Leaks. Anthony, here's leaks. what I'm saying. Here, I, I, yes, I got your point. I just want to clarify it because I have a question. Bad leaks. I'm really focused on the bad leaks. I know there's always going to be leaks. Well, but you seem to be focused, focused on both. that hurt the institution of the president and the president himself. I understand we have to leak things to reporters to help shape policy or trial balloon things or do tests on ideas or people for different jobs. I'm talking about nefarious, unnecessary, backstabbing, palace intrigue-like leaks. That's what I'm talking about. Well, and I that understand why personally and, and politically that would be a problem. Top. But the other Sorry? concern with this, I understand why that would be a personal uh, incentive for you. I get it. But what I'm saying is it does seem as though the president has used leaks as a distraction from the substance and content of the investigation with Russia and that probe specifically, that he and wants so, people so to focus right, so on here, where here, the information here, comes from, let alone right then here, the here information we, here itself. Here we go again. Here we go again. I'll say to the American people today, I'll say it tomorrow, and I'll say it until the investigation ends, and I said it to you a couple of weeks ago, I'll sit with you. When the investigation is over and all these people are exonerated, I'll come and sit on the couch or the chair by you, and we'll talk about that, okay? I believe, uh, as does the president, that there's nothing to the investigation. So we want to go back to the Russian investigation on the segment. We can do that, but it's not, it's, it's just not true. No, I'm, I'm bringing true. it up because it's You're relevant, that Anthony, because that's when leaks... For the Russian investigation, all this nonsense. But, but that's but, why the president I, I, brought them up I, I, in the first place. I, I think that's why bigger, I'm bringing I think it up. I think it's a bigger problem than that, Chris. It may be to it's you. a bigger problem than that. It may be to you. I'm just let's, saying let's, that the concern... On journal CNN, let's try on CNN for like maybe five minutes, not to focus on the Russian Unfair. investigation. Unfair. Anthony, right? Anthony I brought you on the show this morning to give you a chance to clarify something that people would beat you over the head with, because I wasn't sure it was fair. To Russia. Why don't we go to Russia at the end of the segment? Contextually, let's, let's get the gun on the bird. You said you want to be straight. Talk about what's you going said you on want to do the job the right the way. White House and Con going on inside these departments and inside the intergovernmental agencies that we need to stop because we're Fine. American citizens and the people that are working in those jobs have to honor those jobs. Fine. They have, Fine. To, hon they have to honor the position that they have. Like I said about the West Wing, if there's 300 people working there, and there's 300 million people in the country. You're one in a million. Right. Why don't you honor the job? You remember Joe Paterno? What would he say? He okay. Said, Act like you, you've been there before. Right. Act but with honor and dignity and respect and hold the confidence of the presidency in his office. Why don't right. we do that? I, I, look, if you understood. Want to leak, if you want to leak something, you now have a new director of communications. And if it's a leak that's going to help the presidency... Why don't we do that? Understood. That and not that's something that you have to police politically. A couple, more, a couple more minutes without Russia, and then ask a few more questions. But Maybe here's the thing. Russia Look, the Anthony, go, we, bo go ahead. we both know I'm going to ask what I think is important. Uh, right, so and we both know I have trouble taking direction. So the reason I brought up Russia we know is... That. We know that from our hometown. The reason that, that I brought up Russia is because contextually, that's when the president started banging on leaks. Because he didn't like that information was coming out about it. Uh, he didn't like... Uh, the implications of it politically. So he wanted to focus on the leaks instead of the substance. And I'm saying, journalistically, that is a concern. Politically, okay, well, I get well, why well, you want a police that message well, within your house. I didn't, house. I didn't, in your study, house. I didn't I get study that like Quincy. I wasn't a coroner studying that. You remember the Jack Klugman He show? was a medical examiner, not a was, coroner, but continue. Yeah, right, well, whatever, it was medical examiner. I wasn't studying it back then, okay? That's a narrative that I think is a false narrative. I'm going to push back for the president. What okay, is the false narrative? Go, go. Oh, the false narrative is, oh, he doesn't like the leaks coming out on Russia, so he's pushing back. It's 100% true. 
That's not, okay, but that isn't true. He's it's 100% true. You just said it's Russia, true. You just said he doesn't like saying, those leaks. Those are part of the leaks he doesn't is, like. Scandals Incorporated, another fake scandal that we're going to manufacture. The side There's nothing the fake about the Russia Russia. investigation. There's nothing fake no, about the no, emails the that Don Jr. put out of about, Russians trying about, to work them over. Forget about the hacking and all the other stuff. We're going to get into the hacking later. I'm talking about the collusion of the campaign with the Russians and the Russian government. That's the specific thing that I'm talking about, which you and I both know they can't find any evidence of anywhere. Now, you want to talk about the fact that the Russians could have possibly hacked into the system and done something Not possibly. They did. emails or something like that. We can debate that later, okay? I, I, I'll, but I'm I'll saying that's where the leak stuff with, started I'll with the president. Side, I'll stay on side with the president, where, where, and I said this to Tapper, Jake Tapper, over the weekend. Mm -hmm. If the Russians really hacked that thing... Uh, they could possibly be clever enough not to leave any footprints. So the president is skeptical. You know, well, we talked last night at dinner. I hope he's not mad at me for relaying this on, on TV, but I'm going to relay it. He said that he thought for sure that uh, after reading all this stuff as an outsider that there were actually weapons of mass destruction in, in, in Iraq. He said that last night. And then he said there obviously weren't weapons of mass destruction in Iraq, so he has his guard up as it relates to some of the things that people say definitively and declaratively. The CIA director at that time said that the information related to the weapons of mass destruction was a quote-unquote slam dunk. I'm not going to bring the guy's name up because he's a terrific guy and he made a mistake. Big deal. The point is, when you say that we know definitively, or Jake Tapper says that he knows definitively, thank God we have President Donald J. Trump in the room that's going to have a little bit of a skepticism and a cautious eye on this stuff protect the American people, and particularly American yeah, services. Except you're leaving and one by the part way, out, Anthony. Let you're leaving out that the reason Jake Tapper or any journalist talks about this is because Fred, the director of national intelligence, I'm trying the head of CIA, the guys the president, the president put in say it. I'm, sorry, before you say all that, I'm trying to give your viewers insight into the president's personality, okay? The president says all the time, there is one country in the world that can take our country out in 35 minutes. I don't know if they have 8,700 nukes, Whatever the numbers are, it's a big number. We, it's incumbent upon us, and it's incumbent upon them, whatever you think of them, that we try to get along with each other. Okay? Go ahead. Go to the next question. Go ahead. Look, it's just that contextually that's why I brought it up. It's not that we have some untoward fascination uh, with an investigation. We do it because it threatens the foundation of the democracy. You know that. You know it matters. Uh, the president I, I, I know should it know it matters. The I'm president should know that questioning. And Conway has said it, and I'll but, say but it. I'm saying questioning his own intel chiefs if is just an odd strategy for a president. smoking gun proof, he will take action. He, he's looking at these sanctions right now. He may decide to veto the sanctions and Why? be tougher on the Russians than the Congress. Oh, so you yes. think that if he vetoes he may, it, it's because he wants no, no, something listen, tougher than may, what they have in the sanctions bill? He may sign this. He may sign the sanctions exactly the way they are. Or he may veto the sanctions and negotiate an even tougher deal against the Russians. He has a counterintuitive, counterpunching personality that, let me tell you, I was in Youngstown, Ohio with him. Uh, you cannot believe the, the fan base there. The American people get it. American people like what he's doing. The establishment does not like what he's doing. He's going to disrupt the establishment. Why do you call the majority of America to make it fair the establishment? For the people? Why do you call them that? Why do you? Because it's a disparaging thing. It's meant to be an insult. Why? Why insult the majority of the country? Why insult the? I didn't hear the question. Say it again. Why insult the majority of the country by calling them the establishment like they're some type of other? Well, I, I, oh, I'm not. I'm not insulting the majority of the country. I'm not. Call, I'm not. I'm not I'm, well, I, okay, the majority so of the go. country. You're, you're really good with the verbal proofreading this morning. When I talk about no, Anthony, I'm saying it because I'm, I'm polls talk, make it I'm clear that me, the majority of America doesn't approve of the president right now. So when you say his uh, critics, you're well, talking about the no, majority no, no. of the country. Really, I know he has really his fan base. Polling inside the White House. Look, I mean, we saw it in the we saw it in the general election. We saw it in the popular vote. We oh, see it in oh, every poll that comes out. Your own internal. Numbers Let's show talk it. about where the approval ratings are right now. When you microanalyze the approval ratings, there's aspects where, the, where, where, where the, in the questions come in, I love the president, but I dislike X, Y, Z, or I love the president, I dislike X, Y, Z. Once we start executing the president's agenda, and once we talk clearly and directly to the American people and get the American people to light up the Congress's switchboard uh, to help us execute the president's agenda, 
because that's the only way we're going to really be able to drain the But swamp. isn't this we leak call, investigation, all isn't the leak investigation the a distraction board. from the agenda? What's that? Isn't, isn't a big part of this leak investigation a distraction from that agenda? Oh, how is it a distraction? We have to clamp down the leaks. Uh, the president and I are working together with a large group of people now to suppress and clamp down the nefarious nature of these leaks. And again, I'm, going, I'm, I'm talking about the stuff going on with leaking on Syria, North Korea. And like I said, the president views the White House leaks. A lot of this stuff is small potatoes. I mean, I, I can't even have dinner with the guy. Seven minutes later, five journalists know that I'm having dinner with him, and they have the guest list. I don't know. Is that how we should be running the White House? You well, know we shouldn't be running the White House like that. Look, I totally get why you want integrity of purpose within your White House. Uh, I think that your desire to be straight about it is important. I think that's why these tweets last night got you in a little bit of trouble, and I wanted to give you a chance to clarify it. If you yeah, have... no, I'm not, I'm not believing you. Let me tell you something. I work for one person, okay? I, I report to the President of the United States. I talked to him 15 minutes this morning. I'm far from in trouble. Okay, I'm not now, saying I'm you're in, in trouble, but I'm saying the tweets style, and the deleting the I tweets. Have full, I yeah. have his full support, okay? Only thing he said to me is, if you're going on Chris Cuomo's show, you better be nice to this morning, otherwise I'm not going to let you go on. But you're doing a good job so far. Chris. But we both know... Okay, keep going. Do you, look, have, do you have any other questions? It's just not the job. Um to be nice it's to be fair you know that oh, Anthony. Oh, okay i'm using his words and they're very playful and so let me make sure that i'm getting the nuance to you these are playful jocular words i know i just want so everybody when I say else to ryan lizard you're being un unpatriotic i understand and completely and totally respect right. journalistic integrity i got it so now like let me I ask said, you a like question that matters podium, i wasn't a journalist but i did play one on tv and the journalists are figuring out whether they're on the left or on the right. I'm going to treat them with respect, dignity, and kindness because they're a member of the Fourth Estate. We all believe in the First Amendment. I'm going to give them the opportunity to review everything that we're doing. I don't know any but journalist want, who's trying to figure out if they're on the left or the right. clear transparency, Chris. I don't know any journalist okay. who's trying to figure that out. Journalists know exactly where they're supposed to be when it comes to politics. Let me ask you something. I want to give you a chance to clarify I something. I don't, I don't even understand what that meant. What, do you, what did you mean You that? said, as journalists are trying to figure out if they're on the left or the right. I don't know any journalist no, who's trying to I figure said. out if I'm, they're on the, the left or the right. Journalists are trying to figure out the administration. Let me rephrase this. So oh, everyone, please. I want to be very clear this morning. As the journalists are trying to figure out the administration, ah. whether they are on the left or the right, okay. I want to offer them dignity and class and kindness in their pursuit. I get the fourth estate, and I understand why the First Amendment is embedded in the Constitution. So I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm just talking about the spectrum of journalists that come into the White House compound we're going to treat them with respect and dignity Good. and kindness. Good. We're going to hope that they do the same to us. They have to be fair and tough like you are. There's no question about that. I'm making a different point. I'm a crystal clear, transparent person. Uh, I'm, I'm far from in trouble. I don't like what's going on. I know the financial form. Uh, it came available 13 seconds ago. And I understand the sausage factory and the process of the way it was leaked. It's dishonest. I get you. It's shady. It's dirty pool. Pick another neighborhood expression from Queens, okay? You know it's not right. I understand. But what it's done to do is it's done to weaken me and undermine me with the president and my teammates. But my teammates know me. My teammates know that I'm there to support them and help them. Uh, and all of us have got to band together to support the president. Okay. okay. I speak with the right pronouns. Uh, it's we and our. It's never me or I, Chris. It's important. You when you're in great, government, you have, you, you have to you surrender. You have to surrender the me to the we when you're in government. You're right. He's our leader, and he's one of the smartest people that I've ever met, if not the smartest. He's just smart in a different way than maybe some of the people in the journalist community don't like. But I'm wow. super happy that he's our president. And so will the American people. Whatever that approval rating is now, it's going up. Look, because that, we're going to execute well, the agenda, okay? And and he's going to get reelected. I told Tapper I'll send him a box of Kleenex. Yeah, First I don't know why like you that. said I'll, that. By the way, I'll send him Jake a box Jake Tapper of is one of the most straight down the middle focus, guys. It's insulting when you right say that. Now, it's insulting when you say that. Removed. What's that? It's insulting when you say something like that to Jake Tapper, by the way. All right, I, I'm, te I'm teasing him. But you, that's not a nice thing to tease a journalist about. To hit me. It's like teasing us about being Italian. Line. It's I not nice. It's offensive. When you okay. say to a journalist, okay. I'll bring okay. you Kleenex because you'll be Chris, upset if the president gets reelected, you you you're I'll suggesting you that they're biased. It's not nice. Send me toilet paper if he loses. How's that? I'll send you Kleenex. I'm making a joke. What I love about you guys, you hit me three times hard. 
I say something teasing, you guys get you upset. You think this is relax. hard? Okay. I'm giving relax. you pats having, on the head like you were a puppy. Finally. These are just regular <laughs> questions. And finally, we're having a real straight-up conversation. Let me ask you something just, straight just up. Relax. All right. One of the reasons okay. that people uh, from Politico wanted the disclosure form, and other journalists did, is that there's mm -hmm. a question about what happens with your relationship with SkyBridge and whether or not you'll still benefit or profit from SkyBridge while working <coughs> at the White House. What is your response? Oh, I'm, 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 I'm not benefiting from SkyBridge. I understand how I could be benefiting from SkyBridge. I'm. I'm entitled to some, because of my ownership in Skybridge, I'm, titled, I'm entitled to some residual profits. I'm happy to fully disclose that, you know, because they're releasing all this information and trying to hit me and eject me. They, they tried to stop me from coming into the West Wing. Uh, now that I'm there, they're trying to figure out a way to eject me from the West Wing. Uh, my official start date got moved up by friends of mine in the White House Counsel's office because they know what's going on. I was supposed to start on August 15th. They, right. they got me effective yesterday to try to protect me. I appreciate those guys very much. People know what's going on. So, so now they're going to say, how is he making money? So I sold Skybridge. I don't work there anymore. There's residual profits that once the sale occurs, I'm going to receive, but I'm not on salary. I don't have a W-2 there. I, I, what do you want me to tell you? Just the truth. And that's what the disclosure form that, well, was for. That's that, that's what I'm telling you. And by the way, you know, I went through that disclosure form with a fine-tooth comb. Guess what? There could be a typo or an error there. Someone will maybe find that. I'm sure there's 400 journalists pouring over it. One of you guys As get my should. cell phone. Give me a call if there's a mistake. I always will. And I'll, re and I'll resubmit it. I always I will. The mistake. I didn't make the mistake out of dishonesty or fallaciousness. I'm a very transparent guy. I understand. And look. It's unusual that, you know, we've been dealing with a lack of transparency when it comes to finances in the administration. It's good to get information on a disclosure form that we can discuss because we should know about the financial hey, integrity hey, of the people hey, hey, Chris, who are running in the neighborhood I grew up in. I'm never going to dishonor my parents by doing something wrong. These guys have oppoed me for six months. They're scratching their head. They can't find anything, okay? 29 years on Wall Street and an Italian last name. Not one trading violation, not one U4 violation, not one ADV Part 1 or Part 2 violation. They can't find anything because I would never dishonor my dad by hurting my last name by doing something stupid for money or for power. Not doing it. Not my personality. So 29 years on Wall Street, you guys can't find anything. Keep looking. Um, okay, go ahead. Look, la la last question here. You suggested in the tweet that... Uh, or it was suggested in the reporting by Ryan Lizza that you had gone to the FBI. Mm -hmm. If this is no. about dirty no, pool I, politics, I, I, should the I, FBI I, I be involved attorney, in that? I talked to Attorney General Sessions. He's on his way to El Salvador right now to talk about MS-13. Uh, it's a little early. I've got buddies of mine in the FBI that I'll be That's calling. That's interesting to timing that at the same time the president's beating up Sessions, he's out of the country to El Salvador, huh? He's out of El Salvador. He's out of the country doing his job. Doing his job. Let him do his job. So should the FBI or the DOJ be investigating who leaked your disclosure form? I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Well, you talked to them to about it, right? The process. I want to discuss the process and the illegality. But you know what I like bringing up the Department of Justice and the FBI? Because people that have done things that are wrong make them nervous, Chris. Okay, I haven't done anything wrong, so I am not nervous at all. When people do things wrong, and you mentioned the FBI and the Department of Justice, you watch, I, I told the president this morning, when the iceberg hits the boat, the rats start flying up from steerage, right? Because the water comes in in steerage, okay? So when you mention the FBI and the Department of Justice, you watch how the rats lift in the boat. Yeah, I understand. But you we'll, know what the we'll, problem is, we'll is that you're them. putting, we'll the, the boat gets put into the iceberg. The iceberg does not hit the boat. And my point of the analogy yeah. correction okay, that's is. That's really cute. You're if doing you a good job this morning. If that's you like really bring in the FBI. Spin, that's a really cute way. A really cute way to spin my metaphor, but you get the point that I'm making. And I'm right, making ahead, it, and going. I'm making a point as well, which is if you mm -hmm. have the FBI chasing down stuff like dirty politics, is that the best use of their time? No, 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 no. That's what I just said. But remember what I said. I'm really trying to be careful this morning. If there is illegality or impropriety, okay, that's in something the different. Process, that's something different. I'm not asking them to do dirty politics and all that nonsense. I'm just saying, here are the laws. Have any laws been broken? No laws have been broken. No FBI, no Department of Justice. But I like mentioning them because I know knee knockers when I see them and their knees will start knocking. And okay, you don't ahead. want to call people out, but obviously Reince Priebus is out there. And do you have concerns about him? Say that again? 
Reince Priebus's name is connected to this every time it comes out right. in the last Reince, 24 Reince, hours. Do you Reince, have concerns Reince about him? Can uh, speak to you about that, and he can address that himself. All right. Okay. We will uh, ask people him. know my history between me and Ryan. Yes. OK, I can speak for my own actions. He's going to need to speak for his own actions. But but um, I think we're going on too long now. So I'm going to take one last question. And I'm going to hang up. That's it. But my, I'm committed. I'm committed, uh, as is the president, to building as clean of a shop as possible. No more dirty pool. No more dishonesty. No more ha 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 to your face and then stab you in the back. OK, we're New Yorkers. We don't want to run the place like that. Want to run an honest and clean shop so that we can affect the president's agenda. Good. With and that, I'll say. With that, I'll say goodbye, and I appreciate the opportunity of being on. And and someday you will let Allison interview him, at least once. Allison has interviewed you. Okay, and that and that's that's actually a joke, Chris. Just so you know. I hope it's not a, a, joke. a joke. I look forward to interviewing you, Anthony. <laughs> right, exactly. right, I, I look forward to interviewing you. No, she there, actually Allison. sits right here. I know I'm you're on the phone, Anthony. I, but I'm no. just throwing that in there, Allison, because he dominates all these segments. Thank right? you, I'm Anthony. I appreciate that. But I know that you guys all, had your own so. agreement. And I honor yeah. that, that you guys had an agreement mm -hmm. that you guys worked out. But I look forward to the next time you come on interviewing well, Okay, that. that's a deal. Thank that's you for deal. honoring Thank it. You guys for anybody can measure this uh, conversation. I, you did most of the talking, time. as you should, because this is about you making your case. And I'll tell you what, I respect the intentions that you state, Anthony, which is you're going to treat people with civility and decency. It would be a welcome change uh, in the I, dynamic. I, think you, can, I can yeah. think you can ask your journalist there from your shop, uh, that's exactly what we're trying It'll to do. It'll be a welcome chain. Okay. Yeah. I appreciate it. Sir. Welcome okay, you guys change. Have, have, have a good day. You too. Okay. You too. You too, Anthony. Okay.